There's a storm across the valley The clouds are rolling in The afternoon is heavy on your shoulders There's a truck out on the four lane A mile or more away The whining of his wheel just makes it colder. Welcome to Community Forum. I'm Priscilla Almquist Olson, your host. Today is June 28th, 2023, and it is with a great deal of pleasure that I welcome to the program Darcy Pava. And she is a big wheel at the Old Colony. <laughs> A YMCA here in Easton, and she has some fantastic news for all of you parents and grandparents out there who may need a little bit of a respite this summer. So welcome, Darcy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Glad to glad to be here today. Yes. And now yeah. tell tell us a little bit about your uh, new program. It sounds so exciting. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, so we're doing quite a few fun things. So as we're transitioning from the school year to the summer, uh, we, we have quite a few things going on at our Y. So uh, one of them being our family Fridays. So uh, every Friday this summer, we are giving families the opportunity to have some fun and spend some time together. Um, we have either Flick and Flow Aquatic Family Fridays. We've got this um, really uh, fun program called Kids Night In, Parents Night Out, where uh, parents can actually and parents and caregivers can go and they can drop their kids off. You know, while they have some fun and activity, the parents can go and uh, you know do whatever they need to do, um, whether it be you know some self care time or running errands, doing you know getting groceries. So. Um, so that's a lot of fun, um, and that actually comes free with the membership. So um, if you're not a member, which we hope that you know, you'll eventually become a member, but um, if you're not, uh, for their, our youth, it's just a, a guest fee of $5, uh, and for adults, it's a $10 guest fee. So yeah. if you have two kids uh, mm -hmm. and you're dropping them off, mm -hmm. it's $10. And yeah. how many yeah. hours does that yeah. Um, so depending on the type of event it is and the theme it is, typically it's around two and a half hours for that. Okay. Yeah. So um, they yeah. can go and uh, go to some of our local restaurants and have absolutely, a night out and absolutely. The brewery is conveniently located right behind the Y, um, and and we've got some incredible. As you know, we've got some incredible restaurants around. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, also, so we are launching um, quite a few programs that are for athletes of all ages and abilities. So we have uh, programming that is for um, all, um, you know, despite intellectual or physical disabilities, we're launching our bocce club. We've got a walking club. Uh, we have a, um, a fitness club, soccer clinic, and, and more. So um, we're very excited to, to give that opportunity to our, our local community members. And you don't just have to be an Easton resident or a YMCA member to take part in uh, any of those programs. Now, what is the, if, if one wants to uh, review all of the programs that are being mm -hmm. offered at the yep. YMCA here in Easton, mm -hmm. Uh, what contact information can you give us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I always say that if, a few of the the major ways that our members and, and community partners uh, find out information is number one through our mobile app uh, for our members, and then uh, for our community, it's really our social media pages and our website that we refer everyone to to get all of that information. Or you can just call the Y as well. Okay, so what's yeah. the uh, website address? Yeah, it's uh, www.oldcolonyymca.org. Pretty easy. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Okay, uh, and on Facebook, your Old yeah. Colony YMCA. Old Colony YMCA Easton. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Of course. <laughs> there are other old colonies, aren't there? There are seven. Yes, in the association. Yeah, wow. absolutely. That's amazing. And uh, I, I think the thing too with all of the summer fun that we have going on, I, I did want to mention that 
you know, when you belong to one Y, you belong to them all. So while I mentioned a few of the Easton specific programs that we have going on, we really have something at every single branch in the association. Um, and we, we really encourage you to explore uh, all the benefits of membership throughout all of our, our seven branches and our, our campsites and waterfront areas. Wow, that is amazing. So yeah. one could go yep. online and check out the different programs mm -hmm. of the different yep. br seven branches. Wow. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, pick and choose activities. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. now I know that you are the uh, main liaison uh, with Wings of Hope for mm -hmm. the Y. Yeah. Can you give us a brief update? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I uh, work with Easton Wings of Hope on the steering committee. And, um, you know, I, I think that they're continuing to do some really great work. Um, you know, I, I think one of the, you know, biggest things this year that we've seen is just an increase in our youth coalition engagement. We've got some incredible high schoolers that are volunteering their time and their mm -hmm. efforts to put on quite a few events for families and educational events for the community. And uh, one of those is uh, movie night in the park. So they're gonna be offering um, movies that uh, families and individuals and teens can come to. Um, and it's just a great alternative. I know that you know a lot of times during the summer, our youth have a lot of extra time on their hands. And uh, this is a really great way to engage them and give them something to do that's uh, an alternative to using substances. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're very excited <clears throat> about that. That's wonderful. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, Wings of Hope is a, a nonprofit here in Easton, uh, which was started some years ago by a woman who uh, lost her needs to addiction. And uh, so, and then it, it's so amazing. There have been so many overdoses and deaths here in Easton mm -hmm. that one is is just astounded uh, that right. here in Easton we could have so many uh, overdoses and deaths. So if we have that a lot of overdoses and deaths, that means we have a lot of people using um, people who use and don't die. I mean, how many are there? So <clears throat> it's becoming an epidemic not just in Massachusetts and throughout the country, but also here in Easton. So Wings of Hope was started to as a prevention education program and a hands-on um, to, uh, and, and I know they 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 give speeches uh, at the high school, don't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. And they keep, yeah. and now they have this uh, club, high school club, I believe, right? They do. Yeah, that uh, engages the ch and gives the information in the, uh, that those students need so that they can provide uh, in that information to their fellow classmates and and provide some hope um, because it's a terrible, disastrous route to uh, go down. And we don't want that for our children here in Easton or anywhere in the country. So Wings of Hope. And that, it's a wonderful title, isn't it? It absolutely is, yeah. And you know, I, I think to your point, so Easton Wings of Hope, it's a youth substance uh, abuse prevention coalition. And what I love about it and why I love being a part of it is just the fact that they don't talk about all the things that youth shouldn't do. They focus on all of the things that you can do, right? And uh, they they focus on positive community norms and and work to educate our youth instead of scaring them. Wow. So that they that can make those choices mm -hmm. for themselves. So it's very enlightening, Darcy, to hear about all of the uh, programs that the Y engages in, because most of us growing up uh, thought of the Y as a place to go swimming. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. That was it. Yeah. Yep. And then yep. we, we knew it was a place to go and use all the equipment next size. Yeah. <laughs> but beyond that, we didn't know anything. And now we do. So check out the website, oldcolonyymca.org. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Check that out Nailed and it. see yep. what's being offered. And if you have high school kids, even middle school kids, uh, mm -hmm. Get them involved with the representatives at the high school, uh, fellow students who are involved in the Wings of Hope uh, Club there, uh, because it's so important. And as a parent, you should be reaching out too. And as a grandparent, reach out and participate uh, in the programs that are being offered, not just at the Y, but also with the Wings of Hope, 
the summer program uh, night at the movies at Frothingham Memorial Hall. That's wonderful. And you know what, grandparents, when you're babysitting uh, those 12 to uh, 15 year olds, if, if you still do that these days, <laughs> <laughs> you know, suggest that you, you go there and, and bring a little picnic, have a picnic and enjoy. So thank Absolutely. you, Darcy, so much for being here. Of course. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. It's wonderful to wonderful. see you again. And, and I yeah. hope uh, when new programs come aboard, which they will. Absolutely. Please come back and share that information with uh, our viewing audience. I would love to. And uh, there is actually, if, if we have time, I'd love to share uh, just a little bit more about the fall with one more new program, if that's sure. okay with you. Yeah. So, um, so we're in the summer right now. So for our school age and our, our child care age kiddos, uh, we're in our summer fun club right now. Uh, and this fall, we're going to be um, enrolling in our out of school time programming, which is before and after school care. Uh, for our local families. And then we are also opening a new child care center in Blanche James Elementary School, which we're very excited about. So um, our new child care center. So we're still enrolling uh, preschoolers and toddlers right now, but this is really a, a benefit of being a town employee. So this is not open to everyone. Our child care center uh, has the capacity of about 36 kids and you know, we are opening it up to Easton school employees and town employees uh, just as a benefit of employment. So um, we're very excited to, to be able uh, to be part of the, you know, the new Blanche Ames opening. And, um, you know, if you need any information about enrollment in child care or our before and after school um, or out of school time programming, please reach out to the Y and, and let us know. Wow, what a wonderful yeah. benefit for town employees and absolutely. for school teachers, especially those at uh, Blanche Ains Elementary School. Yes, if yeah, they can, absolutely. And on their right. lunch break, they can just go down and visit with their kids. Yeah, yeah. And I think, too, especially with our out-of-school time programming, you know, uh, most folks don't work right down the street, uh, you know, and I think that the extended uh, time and care that we're able to give allows families to be able to know that their child's in a safe place and that way they can go and they can provide for their families um, and do what they need to. So Wonderful. yeah, yeah. And the, um, our before school program opens at 7 a.m. and it goes until school starts. And then our after school program starts as soon as the bell rings and it goes all the way to, to 6 p.m. And of course yep. that's open to all uh, residents. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So check it out. Um, yeah. And uh, obviously the rates of uh, that one pays uh, uh, are located mm -hmm. on the, your website. Yeah. And if anyone is interested in finding out a little bit more about what the rates are, uh, feel free to reach out to the Y. And you know, for for all of you that that don't know, so we work with all families. We don't turn anyone away for the inability to pay for any Y service. So our out of school time programming, our child care membership, um, you know, all of the swim lessons, all the great things that we do. So uh, if, you know, there are any financial barriers or life circumstances, please feel free to reach out and we can, we can work with you. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. why we're here. That's great. Well, thanks again, Dorsey. Thank for joining. you so much for having me. Yeah. It was a pleasure. It really yeah. was. And for those of you who are viewing, uh, but check out the YMCA uh, because there, there's more there than just swimming and exercise uh, in this 2023 year. Uh, and we appreciate so much your ability to see the challenges that f families have and to meet those challenges and offer solutions. So please join uh, me and Darcy uh, in um, checking out all of those wonderful programs that are there to serve you. Absolutely. and your children, and your grandchildren. I'm Priscilla Almquist Olson, bidding you farewell. There's a storm across the valley, the clouds are rolling in.